So now let's see how we can work with callout shapes, arrows, and lines annotations inside of Camtasia. So you can see that I already have a recorded clip right here. And what I want to do is I want to add in annotations on top of them. So for that, I just go over here onto annotation. And here you can see that I have six tabs right here, but we're going to focus on these three right now. So the first one right here are the regular shapes, as you can see. And if you were to go over here, this, these are the arrows and these are the shapes. So they all can be brought in as a, a, a menu right here. So first of all, let's say, for example, if I were to go over here, whenever I start saying hello, that is whenever the video is starting, I want to display something known as welcome. So for that, I can bring in this, uh, let's say something like a box. I can double click here and type in welcome just like this. I can also resize these out visually just like that. So over here, you can see that whenever uh, the cursor is at the beginning, and if I were to start playing this out by holding the space bar, okay, so what I can do is I can just resize this out. So until where the uh, annotation is, so if I were to like, this is the starting point and this is the ending point, it says welcome right there. Similarly, when I start working around with it, let's say the mouse is clicking right here. So what I want to do is I want to bring in an arrow, maybe just like this and resize this out. Maybe I don't need any text here. So I'm just going to double click and delete. I can maybe point it out right onto this section. So let's say when the arrow goes here, just like this, I want to have this call out right here as arrow. So if I were to press play, you can see that the arrow appears right there, drawing the viewer's attention onto that particular area when uh, the when uh, the explanation is happening. So there are different styles that you can actually bring in. So right now the style being used is basic. So what you can also do is you can go around onto abstract style right here and you can go on to industrial style right here. So different styles are there to give a different look. So let's just go on to all and what happens is that all of the styles are there. If you were to go to basic style, then even if you were to go to another tab, the basic style is selected just like that. And that is how it actually works like so that that is how it works. And over here, you can bring in different annotations like arrows, small arrows. You can click and drag it around just like this, as you can see. And you can also go around over here and bring in something like a star or a square and so forth as what you need. So if I were to go on to bold, you can see that there's different type of annotations that you can use. And that is how you can bring out the call out shapes, arrows and line annotations. And in the next lesson, we're going to see how we can adjust that out. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.